Hello, I'm Executive Chef Joseph Schutzler. Welcome to our kitchen. Today I'd like to share with you my recipe for a braised pork roast. The braising liquid that I'm going to use may surprise you. It will be a Yingling Hershey chocolate porter. So stick around while I show you how I prepare this dish. I'll start with my Dutch oven preheated in medium high heat. I'll add a few tablespoons of blended oil. Then want to sear my pork roast. We want to get it nice and brown on all sides. We have nice color on there. So let's go ahead and turn it. And we're going to repeat this with all sides of it. My recommendation is using a pork shoulder. As you recall from other videos of mine, I had mentioned that there are two parts to the pork shoulder. The Boston butt and the picnic. The Boston butt is the top part of the shoulder that is best for pulling. The picnic, which is what I recommend and what we are using for this dish, is more suitable for roasting and slicing. Well, here I am with the picnic seared all sides. I like to remove it and put it on a rack. I then like to saute my vegetables. We'll begin with the carrots. All I want to do is try to get a little bit of color on them. I'm gonna remove them to the rack and then add our leeks. And, do, and repeat the process. Now, removing the leek, I then add my pearl onions. And again, saute until you get some color. Now about halfway through the cooking on the onions, I will add four cloves of garlic. Saute this until it becomes aromatic. Now I'm going to remove the pearl onions and the garlic. And then I want to deglaze with about 16 ounces of ham stock. Give this a quick stir around. I will then put the uh, pork roast back into the liquid. And then add our Yingling Hershey's chocolate porter. Now our liquid has come to a simmer. We are then gonna put the lid on it and put it into a preheated oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I would go one hour and 30 minutes. Now we have pulled our pork roast from the oven. It was in for one hour and 30 minutes. We are now ready to add our vegetables and potatoes. I like adding the vegetables now. That way the vegetables still have some integrity. If I put a carrot or a potato, onion, whatever, into this braising liquid for two hours, there's not gonna be much of it left. It's gonna be mushy and just really cooked down to nothing. And me, I like to have a little bit of bite left to the veg. So now that we have the vegetables in here, feeling that it's nice, nice and firm that we can slice this. 30 more minutes in the oven just to allow the vegetables to cook. Well, here we are after our 30 minutes further with the vegetables in. Now what I want to do is I'm gonna remove the meat and the vegetable because I wanna thicken the sauce. Turn the heat up on high. We wanna bring it to a boil. We're going to thicken it with a cornstarch slurry. And once it comes to a boil, I will show you how we do that. We got our sauce to a boil. We have the cornstarch slurry here. We just pour it into it. 
and see how quick it tightens it up. Gonna wanna whisk vigorously. Uh, a little trick or a, a piece of advice, do not add too much. Do it little by little. How I added that little bit, yes, it's, a, it's still a little runny, but that's okay, because as it cooks, it reduces, it's gonna thicken up. If you put too much in, then there's no way to take it back other than add more liquid to it, but you're gonna sacrifice the flavor because you don't have any more pork liquid or the beer. So we'll turn this down to a simmer. We're gonna simmer it for about two more minutes and strain it, and we're going to serve it. Well, there you have my pork roast braised with yingling chocolate porter, Hershey's chocolate porter. The one and a half hour on the braise time and then the 30 minutes for the vegetables was spot on for a two hour or two pound pork roast. When you're cooking with a porter, typically porters as they reduce go bitter on you. This one did not turn bitter at all. It has a nice beer flavor, but not bitter whatsoever. We were really happy with that. Also thickening with the Cornstarch, like I did, gives the sauce a light nappe. Not like our other sauces, like the velouté that is thickened with the roux. That is a lot heavier nappe and a lot thicker of a sauce. No problem. This is a heavy meat. You got heavy vegetables going with it. I like to have a light sauce with it just to kind of give some balance to the plate. Well, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Uh, the recipe will be below. Feel free to subscribe, be up to date with all of our latest videos, and feel free to leave some comments or questions. Yo, bye, bye.